Today I'm tasting uh, Johnny Walker Black Label Sherry Edition. Um, so lately it seems that Johnny Walker have been uh, trying quite a few interesting variations on their, uh, their standard whiskies. Um, and uh, I've seen uh, the Blenders Batch uh, range which have been interesting. Um, but this one's a Sherry Edition. I, quite, uh, I, I tend to quite like a, a whisky that's been aged in uh, Sherry casks. Uh, and so this kind of caught my my interest. So a little bit about it, uh, this special edition of Black Label includes Highland Malts from Blair Athol Distillery and from Speyside, Strathmill and Cardhu with an increased influence from Sherry Cask Maturation, aged 12 years. Uh, Black Label Sherry Edition has all the quality of Black Label and with a portion of the blend having a secondary maturation in former sherry casks, it exhibits a rich fruit character. Uh, Chris Clark, Master Blender. So it's, uh, it's going to be quite interesting. Um, what else have we got here? Tasting notes. Okay, colour, deep amber. Uh, nose, rich dried fruits, aromatic vanilla and distinct smokiness. Palette. Complex rich fruit with fresh orchard fruitiness, sweet vanilla, sweet vanilla and measured smoke. Finish, warm, long and lingering sweet creamy vanilla giving way to gentle smoke. Um, so Black Label always had a little bit of smokiness to it. Um, most interestingly I did a tasting of uh, uh, 60s, 70s and 80s. Uh, so they were bottles from those eras and um, they were all different. There's a similarity there but you could actually taste that the, uh, the flavour had changed over, over the years. Uh, Black Label Sherry Edition has all the quality. Uh, same on the back that's on the front. Um, and the box has a, a, I guess you'd call it a sherry colour or a, a maroon um, sort of colouring going through the black box and, and on the text. 40% uh, alcohol by volume, um, not a lot else on the outside to, to talk about. So I bought it in the bottle shop in the box, um, so it looks pretty much just like a standard black label box just with a slightly different colouring on the outside. Um, and when I open it again it, it, it very much uh, has all the black label um, range in it. Uh, clear bottle, um, so uh, you can see the actual colour of the, the whiskey. Um, read all of that before. Okay. Um, as with uh, most of the Johnny Walkers, you've just got a screw top that will crack open, so you'll hear that. Let's reopen that. And let's pour some out. Give me a moment, I'm just going to grab one of my Black Label bottles. just want to do a comparison between the two. Out of interest, I've uh, just grabbed uh, my bottle of Black Label, um, just so I can do a quick comparison between the two. So, um, in terms of colour, very little difference. Um, in actual fact, I don't think I could pick uh, a colour difference. Very similar on the nose. Maybe a little bit more toffee. A little bit more fruity in the sherry cask. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's it's a it got a fruitier smell to it, and kind of and 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 definitely a, a kind of more toffee smell to it.
So it's that light smokiness that you can get with Black Label there. Which sort of finishes away, so it's not, not overly complex. It's a little bit of that uh, toffee left behind at the end there. But fairly straightforward, not a, not a, a complex changing whiskey at all. Um, lightly spiced in the mouth. Um, the finish contains uh, a little bit of spice and smokiness there. And um, yeah, the sherry influence seems very, very light on. Um, mostly getting that uh, the, the 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 toffee sort of um, vanilla flavours coming through. Just compare it with the black label now. Mm. So there's a little bit more complexity to it than the Black Label. The Sherry Cask has definitely brought something to it. Um, I'm not convinced they've got it quite right. Um, let's just go with that again. Seems to me to be a little bit of conflict in the um, In the, in the taste with the, the sherry and, and the ordinary taste of the Black Label. Um, look, it's, not, look it, it's an okay whiskey. Uh, I, I, uh, I bought it thinking that the sherry cask in it would be really nice, but um, I'm just going to say I don't think they quite nailed it. Um, that being said, it's a, there's nothing wrong with it. It's a it's perfectly nice whiskey. Um, fairly straightforward, um, not overly complex. Uh, more interesting than the, the standard black label, but um, not, not a lot different, I wouldn't have said. Anyway, cheers.